What is up, everybody? Thanks again for stopping back in. It's Thursday. Made it to Thursday over to hump day. We are just, I mean, we're literally coasting in to Friday. And once we hit Friday, baby, it's the weekend. We made it again. Not that I'm trying to push a long time, but uh, time's happening anyways. Might as well use these little catapults, these little, you know, benchmarks to get us to the weekend. So, Today, well, uh, actually, my last video of kind of like uh, symphonic metal <laughs> didn't go over so well. I know I mentioned that before, so um, hopefully I make some better choices. Uh, anyways, so today I am doing uh, an older Nightwish video with uh, Taya. So hopefully this one is a way better turnout than the last one. This one, too, is... Hate to get on a serious note, but it's kind of a serious note and kind of a happy note because it shows um, human compassion. But this one I am dedicating to uh, someone that is literally a pretty much a staple on all of the content creators that deal with reactions to Nightwish. Uh, it's obviously one of her favorite bands, if not her favorite band. And her name is, is Anne uh, Wachoff. I believe is how you say her name, Anne Wachoff. But anyways, anybody who visits these things frequently, these Nightwish uh, content creators, uh, will absolutely, every time, see her name pop up in the comments. She's always willing to talk about her favorite band, and she's so uplifting when she leaves her comments. So she's never negative. Just you got to love that about this person. So it's so easy for us as content creators to um, reach out to all the other people that, that uh, pop in on our videos and ask them for a little bit of help because it's for a good cause. It's for a good person. Um, so what I am doing since Anne has been sick now for, I guess I should tell you that, she's been sick for the last few weeks. Uh, she has spent quite a bit of time, from what I understand, in the hospital. Uh, and She comes from a place where hospital stays are not free, uh, so that, uh, that bill can grow exponentially. So um, she is dealing with that and being sick. So. Anything that we can do to help uh, monetarily or even just some verbal comments, because uh, I'll post the link uh, down below the GoFundMe page. Let her know that you're thinking about her. If you can donate any little bit, helps out tremendously. It's one less thing that she's going to have to worry about, or at least one less dollar she has to worry about, uh, which you know anybody who has been uh, hit with any kind of unexpected uh, bills like this, it means a lot to them. So this is a way we're using the internet to touch people everywhere and see if uh, we can't get uh, Anne a little bit of relief from her financial burden uh, from the hospital stay. So it is for a good cause. And uh, we just want to let Anne know that we're thinking about you. We care about you. We miss you. We miss your comments. We miss your bantering back and forth. So um, please get better and get back to normal so uh, we can all feel better. So this one, Anne, is for you. <sighs> Can't wait to do this one. You probably know these songs by, by heart. I don't. So uh, therefore, um, I get to listen to it for the first time, So, which is always nice. So without further ado, let me get my headphones out here. Usually I'm, I'm ready, but uh, I wasn't ready for this one. So here we go. Not to cause too much grief here. So there we go. So for all of my uh, subscribers who are stopping back in to see my video, Welcome back. I really appreciate it. And when you watch this, welcome. I hope you get better. And then for anybody who is brand new and just popping in on the station, welcome from all of us. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. And uh, here we go. Let's get into it. Steve was found. They say they be 
Typical Nightwish, just typical Nightwish, you know, epic stuff, it's awesome, awesome, and an awesome ending, bam, 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 that just, again, the way they end songs, and that was back in the day, I don't know when that was from, but you could tell that was early on, they've been doing it for years, ending their songs like that, just freaking love that. Okay, so first things first, let's get this out in the open, Taya looks stunning. She looks amazing there, I thought. That beautiful dress she's wearing, I hate to sound, you know, not very manly, but the dress was stunning. That jet black hair that lays on a white dress, stunning. She's just pretty, her voice is amazing. So, I mean, I don't know. Looks like she just wakes up and, and looks like that. Whereas me, I wake up, you know, I gotta do stuff, you know. And I don't even get halfway there. And, and I spend a lot of time trying to look moderately decent. She just wakes up and goes. Awesome. So, one thing that I really liked, the way they, you know, uh, set up the song was, okay, the normal verse is, 
Taya sings in your standard musical voice, you know. But anybody who listens to symphonic metal is expecting a symphonic sound. And they give it to you in the hook. So the normal verses, she sings like in a standard musical voice. And then when she goes into the hook, bam, you hear that operatic sound, that symphonic sound. She gives it to the crowd with that, with the hook, which to me is really important because the hook is kind of like, it's kind of like the sing-along kind of thing. You know, when the hook's always something that everybody sings along with. And then bam, she does it in, the, in that symphonic sound. I think there's a perfect touch the way they separate it a little bit in the song. Standard, symphonic, standard, symphonic. Funny. Badass. I really like that part of it. How about uh, Tumas and Kai, the drummer? Um, you know that, that one part where they're kind of like feeding off each other. The drummer's and then there's two mus. They're they're both feeding off each other, and you see that big grin he got on his face. Two mus did. He's smiling. He's like he's just enjoying the that that whole you know back and forth kind of thing while they're playing. And then the uh, guitar player. Um, uh, Mpu, Mpu, I guess, Mpu, is that how you say his name? And then he jumps in right at the end with that scaling kind of thing. I don't know how you get your fingers that far apart. I just don't get that. But he's just rotating. And then he jumps in. And then they, bam, they go back into the music. Thought that was an awesome little freaking segment there that kind of just rotates right in and then out they go. So kind of showcased everybody's talent there, you know. I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, so, right there when they're going into that bridge, they're going into the bridge or the break, however you want to say it, I picture this hourglass. They structured it in an hourglass way. So, here's my thought on it. You know how an hourglass is structured. It's wide at the top and then it narrows down like this and then goes out into the big open. The way they did that, the way they went into the break, so it's all, I know I'm going to the side, it's all, uh, all instruments and vocals are all peeing apart at the very top. So it's wide open. It's full symphonic metal killing you. And then when they go into that break or the bridge there, they, they break down. Then they stop doing the guitar. So now it's the drumming and, and Taya's voice. And she's singing a few verses. And then all of a sudden the guitar stop or the drum stop. And then now it's the narrowest part and it's all Taya's voice and she's the one singing. And then to break out of the narrowest part of that hourglass, to, to break us back out into open symphonic metal, you hear uh, Marco's voice. He just screams with zero microphone. You can still hear it. Ah, and then bam, out into the full symphonic music we go. So it breaks into that thing and bam, out into the open. Awesome way to structure a song. It was a slow gradual, no, no guitar, no drums, and then Marco, get us back out in the open, ride us off to the end of the song. Thought that was brilliantly orchestrated, but that's Tumas probably doing the, the way it, um, I don't know, he writes the songs and then maybe everybody pitches in on how, you know, the, to better structure it. I don't know. But either way, they did it and it's badass and I really liked it. Um, so, oh, and then the last thing I do before I forget, because I will forget. Oh, well, there's two things, actually. Two things before I forget. Um, one is, you see uh, Taya doing the head spin. It's not quite as as uh, aggressive and, you know, full force as floors, but it's still good. And the only reason I'm bringing that up, saying that, is because I'm a little jealous. I wish I had some hair to do the same thing. Uh, that would be nice. Still nice cut. They've been doing it for a long time. Even Taya and Flora, they all do it. And I think it's an awesome touch within the song. It just shows just, you know, energy. I love that shit. So that. And then the other thing I was going to say is I noticed the evolution with the band and their stage appearance. So obviously this was... Um, fairly far back in Nightwish's history, and you could see, you know, they didn't have the actual stage setup that they have now. It's like, it's this evolution. Not that it's bad, but it's an evolution. Like right now, you know, you you have a massive movie screens in the back. You have fireworks going off all the time. You have just pyros and lasers. It's just the full Monty right now. Whereas back there, they're getting, they're a little, probably a little green. 
I think. I don't know. You guys will tell me if maybe that was just that particular one song, but normally they do have the full getup. I haven't seen it. But anyways, for me, the way I'm looking is that the evolution, they just, every year they probably get better and they get, they try new things. They try stuff, see if it works, if it doesn't work. And then they are where they're at today. Pretty impressive. I like watching that stuff. So that folks was my reaction to another awesome Nightwish song, older version with Taya, loved it. That one was Over the Hills and Far Away. I don't even think I mentioned the name of that song in the beginning, and my apologies. I mean, you really wanna know that in the beginning. So anyway, you'll know it by the title when I upload the video. So there, have that. So Over the Hill and Far Away, that was Nightwish, back in the day. Really enjoyed it. So that was dedicated to Ann, Ann, again, Please get better. I know you would if you could, but we're all praying for you. We hope you get better. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Our thoughts and whatever you do uh, spiritually are with you for sure. So get better, Ann. Can't wait to see your comments back um, at the bottom. Really do. So anybody who has not subscribed to this channel and would love to subscribe to this channel, just hit that subscribe button. Join our team. We're a good time. I mean, just look at this. I mean, it's a lot of damn fun, isn't it? So uh, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and do me a solid. Just let me know that you appreciate, uh, you know, my content, whatever. Hit that like button, uh, and if you're feeling a little sensitive and you're in your feelings, leave me a comment. I love reading that stuff. It's really awesome. So until tomorrow, enjoy music. Enjoy that pipeline of awesomeness, which is YouTube. And then until tomorrow. I say from America, good night, but from every, for everybody else, I would say, Havaiota, I would say, Buen Noche. I would say, Buenas Noches. I would say, La Canoche. I would also say, um, I would also say, uh, Nanu Bradovich. I would also say, Dobre Noche. And uh, did I miss one? Buenas Noches. I think I did. I think I got them all. And from America. Good night, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Happy Thursdays. Good morning if you're waking up, and good night. See you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. See ya.